smoke so much. Well, well, well. Happy Saturday, everybody. And as we're crossing the street, and you can hear in the background, hey, hey. <laughs> so you can hear in the background, there might be a little bit of wind. That's gonna prove to be very dangerous because we're at Aquatica today. I've never been here before. And in fact, I've never filmed a vlog in a water park before. So, there's gonna be times where I'm not gonna be able to take the camera. Maybe. Amazing. Sorry, they do, they look nice. <laughs> That's gonna get me 30 extra subscribers. <laughs> So I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera or not, but that wind is howling. Now, if you've ever been to a water park where there's a lot of wind, then that means it's gonna be very, very cold. And because it's very, very cold, this could very well be the most dangerous day of my entire life. I could get sick. I could get the flu. I could get a cold. I could get cold. I could. I could become a dolphin. I could become a dolphin. Mr. Limpet. They have some pretty cool slides, though. Check that one out. By the way, this ride, when you go down the slide, you come all the way down, and then there's the slide here. It comes through underwater where there's dolphins so the dolphins get to swim right next to you but it's only very brief because there you go out this way and you come out on this side right in that pool right over here it's pretty neat now not to make any sort of comparisons but las vegas has almost the exact same thing except it has like sharks instead of dolphins and the portion where you're underwater is a lot longer so that way you really kind of have that feeling that there's sharks everywhere. So it's a little crazy. In case you guys really want to know, there's sun safety tips. You want to make sure that you apply sunscreen liberally 15 minutes prior to sun exposure. Apply evenly, reapply sunscreen, and between 10 and 4 wear at least SPF 30. Fun fact, I don't get sunburn. That's my superpower. Here's really the cool thing is that it's a water park but they do have self dryers here so no need for a towel because you can actually just step in here spend five dollars instant dry also cool is that they actually have the toilet ride you go down the slide right over here and you end up in the funnel that's right over here which is neat i like that so here we are Can't water, water park is really cool if you go ahead and check this one out right here check this one out this one is a rapids ride not necessarily a ride, it's just more of the, like the river rapids. You don't even have a, uh, a tube. You're literally like kind of careening down like these like heavy, fast, and crazy rapids. It's a lot of fun. It's crazy. Um, but I'm going to show you around a little bit, show you what the park has to offer. My beard is wet and looking glorious, baby. Hashtag epic beard. So there's a place here. Uh, if you want a really good deal at Aquatica, it's called Banana Beach. And essentially, it's a buffet so you pay $15 and you can get whatever you want and you can eat as much as you want as long as you're inside this little eatery here so check it out they just got salads and they got chips nachos and chicken that looks fantastic all right so SeaWorld actually does it again uh, when we went to Busch Gardens we had got an amazing meal uh, the food was good now, SeaWorld as far as Aquatica goes, really good when it comes to like the buffet. Uh, however, it does come without some knocks. I'm gonna tell you why. So I had the pizza, I had the nachos. The nachos were really good, really good meat, really good nachos. But what the is going on with my hot dog? My hot dog actually collapsed as I was putting it into the bun. Uh, this one is just kind of holding on strong. And I think I got the apple cobbler thingy. Your like apple cobbler. Anyways, uh, but the food is still really, really good. Give it about a B plus on the food. So 
definitely. Uh, it's worth the money. It's 15 bucks and it's all you can eat while you're in the park. Well, not while you're in the park, while you're inside of this place. The cool things is that they even have their little beach area complete with sand. <laughs> As you can see, um, a fun fact, as I was just told, this isn't exactly sand, it's actually clay you're walking on. So it's not the true authentic sand that you may get at the beach, but it definitely adds to that ambience of the beach-like atmosphere that you see here. Fun. It's a slide that goes all the way down here. You get kind of tossed into this funnel, and you go down another set of slides, and you come out right over here in one of these colored tubes. That you really need. Check that out. So here's the map of Aquatica. So you have Banana Beach. This is where we were to eat. Then you actually have like another waves sort of ride over here. Uh, the walkabout waters uh, for children right here. There's actually slides here for racers. That looks pretty cool. Um, I don't remember seeing this right here, but we're right next to the Cutback uh, Cove and Big Sheriff Soars. Uh, and then you're seeing this, you got the dolphin plunge right over here. That's pretty much it right here. They got a really small lazy river though. Check this out, they actually have another uh, dolphin exhibit. Uh, you can see right behind them, right here. That's the tube that you go through. So, in Antarctica. Yeah. Look at that. So, unless you've been there, you probably wouldn't know how to So, this is uh, the, uh, the kids' area here. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it is massive. Look at that. This is water just spraying all over the place. Check that out. Just dumping all sorts of water all over everybody. That's really cool. Now, they do have like that giant bucket thing right up here in Vegas. I've seen that before, but not to the size that this thing is. I think that is a giant like rapids ride where you just sit in a giant tube and it kind of takes you careening all the way down. That's really cool. Here's the other thing to note. The water is really, really warm, so it's not cold, it's not freezing, it's 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 like probably about like nice like 80 degrees. So it's really warm to contrast to this wind that you're seeing out here. Uh which is fine because, again, if it's cold water and you get out and it's still cold, guess who's going to get sick? You are, so I think it's much more of an incentive to stay in the water than to get out of the water. And that's a little different than any other races I've seen. Now, most of the time, just right up there at the very top, you see them come down, they hit that little bump, and they come straight down. This one's a little different because they shoot down, they go down these little tubes here, shoot out through that hole where my finger is, and then shoot all the way down here to win. Now, not only that, but there's a timer right there that times like the fastest time. That may or may not work. That's really cool. Right now, by the judging it, nobody made any good time, so I don't know if the time's recording. You have zero, 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 zero. Or unless they're all winners and everybody's a flash. Here's another view of the rapids. Now if you see how fast that water is traveling, when you get in it, it just takes you away and you're gone. You're gone and you're just swimming away. So it is, uh, needless to say, it's a bit of an experience. So definitely wear your life vest so that way you can float. Because you want to float, because they all float down here. They all float. In a aquatica. It's something to really just kind of take, like, at, at least for me, as a mental note, anytime that I want to come back. Um, I've gotten really, really, really used to the grounds in Vegas. Um, their water park, which is wet and wild, it gets really, really hot. Um, because, again, in Vegas, you look talking about 130 degree, 140 degree weather. It's crazy. However, this ground right here, 
Not hot at all. It's actually very, very cool. So you can really walk around barefooted. So that's a little bit of uh, PTSD for the ground for me, anyway. So here's another pretty cool area, which is uh, Kata Kukabura Cove. Uh, this is actually where you can take your children, you know, your infants. Uh, just kind of give them that nice like water experience. Now the water is not very deep. In fact, it's probably about a good like three inches, I think. Um, but it still gives them that same fun experience instead of having them like go to a very bigger area that's right back there where, uh, you know, someone can get very, very hurt. So it's kind of like almost the same thing as the previous one, just very smaller and very condensed. Big beach area right here. Uh, this is actually pretty cool because every, well maybe once, every 10 minutes or even every on the top of the hour, every half hour, I don't know really the timing of it all, but the big waves will come through. So these people that are like brave enough to kind of experience like the big waves to happen, are gonna happen in here. And these come in like huge, huge, huge waves. All right, that's it for our day. We are wet, we are tired, we are wet and tired. We're wet and tired. It was fun. It was grand. It was grand fun. I'm out of here. Till next time, I'm out! So good to be back.